In this video, we're going to talk about color palettes. My favorite website for color inspiration is designseeds.com. And I just love it because multiple times a day, they post beautiful color palettes. That you can just kind of scroll through and see what catches your eye. So for example, um, if I wanted to choose this color palette and I wanted to pin it to the board that I'm making, my mood board, I can just click this pin it button right here and go ahead and pin it to that board. Now, the thing about color palettes is that sometimes it's hard to choose a color palette and you might need to actually pull things from your pin. But for the purposes of this course, we're kind of going to go with a pre-made color palette um, by Design Seeds. And we're not even actually probably going to use every single color in the color palette. We might just use a few. So for example, back on the mood board that I'm making, you can see I've got like a couple different color palettes here. Now this one doesn't match, so I'm going to go ahead and remove it. I do like this color palette, but it doesn't fit with the brand that I'm making. Um, and you can see like for my pins, like these feel young and colorful, bright, youthful, friendly. And this is nice. This feels more earthy, subdued, laid back to me. And that's not what I'm going for. So feel free to pin things, delete them, and curate this board until you find a bunch of pins that kind of match what you're going for. This I also like, and it's closer, but these two are really more what I was going for. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this one too. Now, when you're actually going to choose your colors, you're probably only going to choose maybe three colors for your website. White is probably going to be on your website, but it's going to be kind of not the color. It's going to be maybe like the background. So pink might be your primary color and you might have pops of blue and yellow. You don't have to use every single color in a color palette. Now, if you feel creative, you can go ahead and make your own color palette um, from the pins that you've made. So you might go ahead and pull some of these into Photoshop or GIMP or whatever image program you're using. Use the eyedropper tool and go ahead and pick colors directly out of them until you find a color palette you like. For the purposes of this, I'm probably just going to choose this color palette, maybe this one, and just roll with it for the videos um, just to make it easy. But feel free to experiment um, with your color palettes, try different things, um, add things to your board, delete them, and just feel free to play around.